What's up guys and welcome back to the tenants. We've got some very exciting news today. We are finally going to be able to take advantage of leverage. We're going to be able to take out a loan with the bank. So uncut us up. Listen up. We've got an amazing offer from the bank. We're eligible for a loan. Boot up the bank app. It's going to allow us to finally start building this empire thing for real. So let's take a look here. We've got our new bank app. Looks like we've got a few different loan tiers, but 50k is going to be the only one that we have available to us. So let's check this out. Got six, 12, or 18 month terms. Obviously, the installments are going to be different depending on which, but uh, it looks like the interest rate is all the same, which is interesting. So, uh, I guess let's let's play the long game here. We're going to go with the 18 month loan. Go ahead and sign the agreement. You're going to have to pay it back, of course. So, we've got 200K in the bank now. That is obviously very exciting and it's going to open up new doors for us. I mean, debt, you've, you've got different kinds of debt, you know, credit card debt, obviously not good. You don't want that. You want to stay out of that. But when it comes to real estate investing, using leverage to be able to buy more properties, renovate more properties, rent out more properties, it's a very valuable tool for us to be able to expand even quicker than we could if we were just doing everything in cash. We've just got to be careful. We can't go too far too fast. Uh, I do think we have, uh, we had a message here. Thanks for nothing. Oh, there's a leaky pipe. Apparently I forgot about her. So uh, yeah, that's, that's not, not my problem. Um, looks like Cindy's saying she sent us the money. So we've got, uh, of course, you know, our, our bills here. Our bills have gone up now because we're going to have to pay pay off that loan over time. But let's go ahead and pay that. Looks like everything else is looking good. Did we just get another text message here? Dude, the messages are constantly flowing in. Um, I'm going to send my uncle. We're going to go take care of these nasty pests. So apparently we forgot about her earlier. We're going to want to make sure that we actually take care of it this time around. So let's just keep, uh, keep spraying these roaches away and... Um, Hopefully we're not going to fail this babysitting job too hard. So yeah, guys, welcome back. I'm excited. You know, I, 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 at the end of the last episode I mentioned, I was like, you know, we, we might have to do some, some off screen grinding just cause I mean, it's fun to do these random odd little jobs, but it's nicer to be able to buy our own properties, fix them up and grow our own empire. So I was thinking we're going to have to build up cash, but Obviously, this kind of fixed it for us. So in terms of available properties for us to be able to purchase, it looks like we've got two here in the center part of town. I'm looking to see if there's anything else. It looks like those two are going to be the main ones for right now. So let's take a look at these. We've got a Ferry Street 123, small flat and a rundown apartment building. So it's going to be a 12 square meter size, one floor with three rooms and one bathroom. Built in 1980, it's next to a bus stop, subway station, and a bar. So honestly, not bad. That's going to cost $98,000. We've also got Lost Creek Road. This is also a 3-1, but it's a little bit bigger. It's next to a couple of bus stops and a fire department. So that actually sounds pretty good. Uh, built in 2018, this one looks pretty good. 130k. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and purchase that. I wish it told us how much we could expect for rent, but I would assume being in a better part of town, nicer, newer, and a better building, we're gonna be able to charge bigger rents anyway. Let's take a look at some of these jobs available to us. Elite contract for 4100 I'm not worried about that. Find a tenant. I like the babysitting jobs. I'm going to take those all day long because we don't have to do much. Finding a tenant honestly isn't bad either. No housekeeper, 36 to 42 years old. Let's see who this is. Rhea Rowland, 26 years old. Not old enough. 50 years old. I mean, a little bit too old, but not bad. Is there going to be anyone else that comes in here? I guess let's do a, a history check so she's got excellent history how about this this girl 30 years old too young i'm gonna do a background check on on chloe here chloe seems like a good match she is a little bit older than they were asking for but i, I can't imagine being upset that somebody's a little bit older she has a million dollars in debt though she really likes the apartment out of the three people here she really likes it so i i mean she's got a lot of debt she does have, ex ex you know, exceptional history with other... I, I want to say, let's just do it. it it's not going to be perfect, but we're going to do it. I'm going to charge her $1,700, make an offer. Let's see see where she comes at in at. $1,455, I'm going to say $1,600, make an offer. I'll come down $100. bucks. she going to say $1,578. I'm going to say $1,580. How about that? Two more dollars. All right, we'll accept it. I mean, it's not ideal for what they wanted. They would have preferred a little bit younger, but um, at least we got the job done. Hey, would it be okay for me to paint the walls or give this place a fresh look or maybe get some new floor panels? Our agreement doesn't permit that. I'm sorry. I'm not going to let you spend seven grand of somebody else's money. He's he's somebody we're babysitting. I'm not going to be able to make that call for you. Sorry, man. You're going to have to talk to your 
real landlord when he comes back. So we're gonna go back to Lost Creek Road here, and uh, it looks like this this is this is it. This is what we're what we're working with. So we're gonna have to have to clean some things up here. We've got Unk going in. Um, okay. This I thought I thought it said it was it was a three one. This definitely does not look like a three one. This, this is the whole thing. This is what we bought. I could have sworn it said it was a 3-1. This definitely isn't a 3-1, but we're going to be fine. We're, we're going to turn it into a 3-1. So we're going to move that over there. Let's go ahead and sell this, this easel here. We're going to have to do some major construction. So we're, we're just, we're going to start from fresh. We're going to demolish all of this and we're going to, we're going to work it out. So let's, uh, actually we probably didn't want to demolish those two. I'm going to make, I'm going to make this here. This is going to be our bathroom right next to the, the, you know, front door. So we've got that. We're gonna have a little living room over here. And then of course, we're gonna have our three bedrooms. So I'm, I'm wondering if we, hmm, if we go like this, oh shoot. I was hoping to make like some sort of a little master that could be attached to the bathroom, but that's also kind of weird. Hold on, let, let me let me think about this. Oh shoot, can you believe it? When I was at work, someone broke into my apartment and stole a bunch of things. What are you gonna do about it? Cover the cost of installation of security cameras. Maybe you should make a habit of locking the door. I'll put some security cameras into our other apartment. I mean, come on, that's that's a good idea. Help cut down on crime and stuff like that. Okay, so how, how do we want to do... How do we want to do this layout? What about something something like this? So this is our bathroom, right? As soon as you walk in the door, it's good for guests. It's next to the living room, everything else. And then we've got our, our three bedrooms here and a little hallway. I actually, I, I don't mind that. So let's uh, let's go in. We're going to select some, uh, some door frames. I'm thinking another door here, door here, and door here. Then of course, we're going to want to put our actual doors in the door frames. I like the look of, of what we had previously. So we're going to get three of these. They're pretty expensive, but it's going to be worth it. Take a look at the bathroom here. I mean, obviously we're, we're going to be able to fit a shower in there. There's going to have to be a shower. You need a place to be able to shower. So we're going to put that like that. I mean, it's it's not going to be super, you know, fancy, but it's it's going to work. We could put a pretty nice toilet in there. I guess I'm, I'm down to put a, a little toilet like this. And then we could even put... You know, a little a little sink area next to that toilet. How's that look? Something like that. I mean, it's it's a little bit cramped, but it's it's gonna be okay. Toilet paper next to the toilet, of course. I mean, we oh, shoot, we aren't really gonna have space for for laundry. I guess technically, it's a washing machine. I guess we could put a washing machine over here. I mean, that's kind of weird, but at least we have it so that's going to be kind of like you know what that could be a little laundry room so let me let me build here we're going to put that put a door here and then we can have have a little laundry room at the end of the hallway i mean it's not the ideal setup but we just don't really have a lot of space so we've got to make it work probably going to want some some sort of a, a you know toilet brush situation here is, is going to be a good idea we can put that underneath the uh the, the toilet paper and uh, i mean that looks pretty good let's take a look at at paint and stuff obviously going to want something Pretty fun, fancy, bright, you know, something kind of nice here in the bathroom. I'm thinking, I mean, we've done this before. I really like it though. I'm thinking we, we keep this for the, the bathroom here. This is kind of a, a fun little, fun little tile there for it. I just, I, I like making the bathrooms kind of fun. So we're going to go with that. Obviously we're going to want some, some decor here. So I'm thinking some sort of a, a mirror. Can we put a mirror on this thing? No, you can't put a mirror on there. So we're going to put a mirror on the wall. Of course, we're going to want, um, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think of, of what else, maybe some little, can't put any, any flowers. What about like a little something like that. So you can't, you can't place anything up on that, which is kind of unfortunate. I guess we can go with our, our traditional look here. If we go to office, we're going to be able to get kind of a little thing here. And then we could, we could put a nice, a nice little, you know, vase and maybe even some, some candles. What if we put it over here above the toilet? Nice. That's pretty nice there. So I'm, I'm thinking that, and then we, we could put candles on each side of it to, to match. So that, that looks pretty nice. We'll take that. So that's that's our bathroom there. Now, bedroom number one, I'm thinking, should we carpet the bedrooms? I, I guess it seems like a lot of people in this game kind of like carpeted bedrooms. So I'm gonna look for some carpet. I'm thinking some gray carpet here. Let's just do, let's do gray carpet all throughout for everything so it all matches. I guess, I mean, laundry room. I might do hardwood for all of this. I don't know, we'll, we'll think about it later. But first bedroom, let's take a look at the walls, see what we wanna do. I'm gonna go with a nice blue. This isn't the blue we typically do, but it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go with that there. I'm gonna say, let's go with a green on one of them. If you guys can't tell, I really like nice bright colors and having fun with it. And then maybe like a, a red over on this one. You can just hit 
RGB, all of our, our main, main colors here, so... We've got that. Let's take a look at bedroom furniture. I mean, should we make them all identical or should we should we mix it up? I'm not sure. I'm thinking we, we give them some nice beds here. So we're going to center this bad boy. We could go with a, a an orange one in this. And then maybe a... Should we go with red and red? I feel like orange might make a little bit more sense in the red. So we can go with that. So we've got three double beds there. Looking pretty good. And we, we've got to think, do we want to rent this out to one person or do we want to rent it out by the room? Obviously, some, some dressers in each room. We can put them along the wall here. This is very cookie cutter, but to be honest, I, I almost kind of like it that way. It makes it a little bit easier for us. And then if we do end up renting this out by the room then we can you know charge the same price for each of the rooms because they're all pretty much the same thing so we're gonna this is just gonna be kind of like a cookie cutter house i guess i definitely prefer you know having uh our our own space here though being able to take our time we're not rushing to to try to meet somebody's demands or anything like that we are strictly doing this on our own. So we've got giant flat screens on each of the rooms. Obviously, we're gonna want a flat screen out here as well. We're also gonna have to find a small space for a kitchen, but uh, that looks pretty good for now. I guess, uh, I mean, we, we could do some more, some more decorations. I'm gonna put like, you know, dream big up on the wall. It, it's, it's your time to shine. We could put this over here. We can, we can mix these up a little bit. Um, you are breathtaking. As Keanu Reeves would say, we've got that. Does this count as a bedside table? I think it does. Yeah, we could we could put each each of these rooms with a bedside table and then like a lamp and a alarm clock. I'm trying to think of what else we could do here. I mean, I, I you, you guys you guys had to have known it was coming. We're gonna go with some some hanging plants on the walls. I'm thinking I'm thinking that the big boy with two two small boys on each side. I just I mean especially in you know quarantine and everything. I've definitely come to appreciate plants. I think everyone has. I think it, it really just kind of light, lightens your mood, especially if you're stuck indoors a lot, to be surrounded by nature. So we're, we're gonna go with that. I don't wanna get too crazy and have it be too, you know, cluttered or anything like that, but I think this is this is a good move. Obviously this is, you know, it's kind of a, kind of a simple, simple one, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of a simple uh, piece of property. It would be nice to, to branch out a bit more than what we have here, but I think it's gonna bring in some some decent money to start things off, and obviously that's kind of our our main focus at the moment. I'm gonna put some calendars on each of the walls, and uh, I think I think we're good to go there. Next up, we've got our laundry room. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking we make this kind of fun like the bathroom. So I say, I mean, we, we could honestly just do the same thing. We're gonna go with that on the floors. We're gonna go with the nice yellow hexagons on the walls, just make it fun. Nobody actually likes doing laundry, so uh, might as well make it nice. And then I'm thinking hardwood floors for the uh, the main apartment area. So let's take a look at this. This basic ash is, is probably my favorite. So we're gonna have hardwood throughout here. We're also gonna have on the walls, I mean, We've done red, green, and blue. We haven't done, I mean, should we do yellow to try to try to tie everything in? This is this is gonna be the Crayola house, fellas. It's, it's you know, quite, uh, quite in your face, but it's gonna attract the right tenant. It's perfect for, you know, influencers, Instagrammers, that sort of thing. So we've got this going on. I'm thinking kind of a tiny kitchen along the back wall here. So let's take a look at what we have for kitchen appliances. Could probably just go with some white. I think the white's gonna look look pretty good here. So we can have a uh, a fridge. We'll have the stove. We're looking for white counter. To oh, we unlocked some new stuff. Ooh, willow panels. I actually really like that. And it's laminate, so it's cheap and it's very sturdy. Might have to end up checking that out. I'm gonna go with, uh, let's move this out of the way real quick. We're gonna put, uh, put this here. We're gonna put this here, line it up with that. We're gonna grab a sink. Where's our sink at? Sink could go here, and then I'm thinking maybe like, we could even go with something something like this off the edge and put like a little bar stool or like a little chair there. Let me check out what kind of chair options we have. We could put put something like this. Eh, that's that's kind of weird. We're we're gonna we're gonna sell that. I also don't really like this. Thing. I what is, is it supposed to be like a breakfast bar or something like that? Could we put a stool next to it? I'm not sure. I'm not worried about it. We're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna put another one on the edge like like so so that looks pretty good nice little kitchen area nothing too crazy i mean we could have a you know a little a little kettle here um you know a little little hood above the stove is of course going to be welcome have a little toaster next to the fridge looks good microwave i mean we could probably use a microwave as well can we put this in front of the shoot can we move this back 
I'm just gonna add all the random pieces that we possibly can. Throw a microwave down over here. Bam. All right, so that's a pretty nice little kitchen area. And then of course we're gonna have, I guess our utilities could be over here. And then we're gonna have some sort of a, a big screen over here on the wall and some furniture to be able to hang out and enjoy yourself. Thinking a, a big comfy couch for sure. The, the blue looks nice with the yellow. So we're gonna have that there. I mean, we could have a little lamp next to the couch. Isn't a bad idea. I really like some of this furniture. We're starting to unlock some pretty unique furniture. Uh, this isn't really the house that the, the price point that I would put some of the really crazy stuff in, but um, we're, we're, we're getting there. We have a little coat rack we could put next to the door, I guess. That wouldn't look bad. But uh, yeah, it's, it's starting it's starting to look pretty nice. We've, we've got some, some cool pieces coming in. We've got a little DVD player here. I'm thinking we might as well have some sort of a, a shelf underneath the TV. It's like we could put a, a DVD player on, on one side here and then maybe like a game console on the other side looking pretty cool. Now this thing is, is messed up because I think the couch is too close. That's weird that you have to have space in between the two, but I guess... I guess that, that works for now. I just realized we don't have anywhere to eat. I guess you're just gonna eat in your bedroom. Sticking with the crazy color blocked theme here. So that, I mean, that's that's looking pretty good. I, apart from the missing dining room table, which I feel like was kind of a bit of a mistake. I, I think we're, we're looking pretty solid here. I'm gonna grab some more hanging plants. You know, place something like that right there. Is there something nice we could put in the kitchen? Maybe a clock would look pretty nice. I don't really like bare walls. I mean, this this corner looks a little bit empty, but I, I think we're okay. Overall, this is a pretty cool apartment. I mean, it's a bit much that the yellow walls, I, I don't know if I would choose something like that, but if you're fun, young, eclectic, something like this wouldn't be a bad idea. Maybe like a YouTuber house or something like that. It'd be kind of a fun place to film in. So I, uh, I think this is, this is looking pretty good. I like it. This thing needs to be centered a little bit more. Let's go ahead and center that. All right, we're gonna start up our open house and hmm, I don't know how I wanna do this. So the, the nice thing is if you if you rent the whole apartment, it's one person to deal with. Y you don't have three people with issues. You don't have issues of people not getting along with each other. It's like one person is responsible for everything. However, if you rent it out via rooms, you can probably make a little bit more money and you're gonna open it up to, to more opportunities. I'm gonna say, let's do newspaper for rooms to rent and we're gonna see we're gonna see what we've got going on. We've got an alcoholic fast food worker who's 20 years old making 80K a year. Alcoholic construction, apparently alcoholics, like my, my design here. 57 years old, I'm gonna do a, a tenant history check. Going to make sure that, that everything's looking good with uh, with Neve Roland here. Looks like fine. All right, let's do a background check. I'm hoping that she's going to end up uh, being a good choice here or he. No criminal record, no debt. All right, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and negotiate here. $2,000 for one room. I'm going to say let's let's start the, the bidding at $2,500. Make an offer. She's gonna come in at 2,095. I'm gonna say 20, 2250. How about that? All right, I'm gonna accept it. So we got 2250 for one room. One room, that is incredible. Gamer fast food worker, 46 years old. She's thinking about the apartment score. I'm waiting to hear what she what she thinks. Exceptional. All right, we're gonna do a, uh, a background and a tenant history check here. I didn't mean to do both of those at the same time, but hopefully they end up being good. So fine and fine there. Let me check out the uh, the, the the background report. She's got $158,000 in debt, but we all have a little bit of debt. So I'm gonna negotiate. I'm gonna say I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm not accepting less than 2250. I'm gonna start at 2700. Let's make an offer here. She's gonna come in at 2344. I'm gonna say not a, a dime under 2500 for you. That extra debt's making me a little bit nervous, but it looks like she's gonna take it. So holy cow, dude. Rooms to rent is the way to do it. Got a child care worker that's 34 years old, makes 83K. We've got an alcoholic butcher that's 50 years old. She thinks the apartment is exceptional. We've got uh, an influencer waiter who's 48 years old, who's thinking. I mean, I'm, I'm, let's, let's check, let's check this chick out. I, I just, I, I wanna, hmm. I wanna, I wanna get this, get this thing rented as soon as possible. Bad, all right, we're not gonna go with her. Let's see what this influencer is thinking. 
Looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna I'm gonna just run both of these. I'm just trying to be as efficient as possible here. I wanna I wanna start having the money come in. Uh, unsatisfying. Shoot, we're getting some some bad options here. I'm gonna ask her to leave. Ask the guest to leave. I'm gonna ask her to leave as well because neither one of them got good reviews from their previous uh, you know, property managers. We've got Barbara Ponce here. Oh, that she's I think she already moved in. It's like this this chick is unsatisfied. Fine. Okay. Well, if you don't like it, you don't have to. 53-year-old barman. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some some reviews on him real quick. Let's let's see what we've got going on. Have a problem? I'll send a pro in. Probably could have done my uncle, but it's fine. Jack Phillips had a good tenancy. He also has no debt and no no criminal record. I'm gonna negotiate with him. Here we go. I'm gonna say. 2650 now he doesn't like the apartment as much so he's not probably not gonna pay as much let's go with 2380 he's gonna be a bit less than some of the other places 2364 I'll accept it bam all right so we filled that out now the bad news is Barbara Ponce not Barbara Ponce Cindy Warren our original tenant in our very first apartment says that it was a true nightmare living in here good riddance so that is now open. We're going to have to go and set that up. Boring lane. So we're going to go check this out. Now, one thing I think we definitely could have done different, putting doors is a pretty important part of the, the process. So we're going to put a door in the bathroom and on the, uh, the, the living room. So that looks pretty good there. Uh, I'm thinking, I mean, overall, it's a pretty solid setup. I'm still happy with how we did it. I'm thinking maybe a little bit more in terms of... of um, you know decorations so i'm gonna go in we're, we're gonna put we're gonna put maybe a, a couple a couple shelves here just to make it look a little bit more homey and we're gonna be able to go in i mean we, we could put you know kind of a little a little flower pot you know maybe a little hanging plant on the wall you guys know we just love our plants here it's pretty much the only thing we have to be able to to branch out currently uh we could put a clock up in the corner i'm thinking some some cacti here and then maybe some candles and stuff just to make it smell nice. I mean, that, that sounds pretty good to me. Don't want to get it too cluttered, but I can understand that it, it was kind of barren before. So we're going to set all these up and then we're going to rent this place back out. And hopefully it's going to going to be in good shape. Got an athlete, child care worker. Let's see what she thinks of the place. Come on now. She hates it. I'm going to ask you to leave. I don't want you here anymore. We've got an alcoholic butcher. Apparently I attract a lot of alcoholics. With my decoration choices. Tell me he loves it. Of course he loves it. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, a tenant history check and a background check there. Looks like we've got Maxim Coffee here. Another alcoholic. Um, see what he, he thinks about it. Mm, good opinion on his previous tenancy for Ellis Norman. No criminal history, but he does have a fair amount of debt. He does love it though. Looks like Chloe Houston. I'm gonna do a couple of checks on her as well. This guy thinks it's good as well. We're gonna we're gonna find something here. Chloe Houston, good. Murder and kidnapping. Not that guy either. Okay. Um, Ellis Ellis Norman. Let let's just negotiate, buddy. I'm gonna come in hot at 4K. I'm just gonna ask for a lot. Get quite a bit back from you. Let's let's drop it down to 3850. I'll accept 3780. All right, looking, looking pretty good to me. Looks like we got some new gym equipment and stuff we're gonna be able to use, but check this out, dude. Woo! So we've got our brand new apartment. We've got a new tenant all around. We've got four new tenants in total, and uh, we've got an income of nearly $11,000 a month with bills and bank payments totaling around $5,000 a month. So in total, we're, we're net positive, $5,600 per month. That's is pretty exciting now the thing is we have more tenants now so we're gonna have to chase down more people for their payments more could potentially go wrong but when you look at it i mean we're making over you know 6k nearly seven thousand dollars off of that new apartment that we we bought there's no way we would have had that much from just a single tenant which is uh, is great so it looks like we uh you know we're meeting all these guys i wish like ellis i wish we could send him like a little gift basket maybe a bottle of wine and be like congrats if there's ever anything wrong be sure to let us know we're here we're, we're you know uh, on your side. All right. I, I mean, things things are things are going well. We're gonna pay our bills here. Looks like uh, you know, five months and 24 days in, we are we are really starting to expand quite a bit, which is pretty exciting. Let me check out some reviews. The reviews are going well. We're making money, and uh, I, I mean, we've got 52k. 
might be able to start thinking about expanding again soon. Uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit of grinding. We'll do a couple of side odd jobs and stuff. We'll definitely pick up any babysitting jobs we can. There's nothing currently. But uh, I'm thinking we keep on moving onward and upward. Hopefully we can keep buying more apartments and uh, keep expanding our brand. It, ooh, it looks like we can buy a trailer for 57k. Should we do that in the next episode? Let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out.